Hello, I'm Daniel with Palm Video's Tech Support. I'm going to be going over GeoVision and auto login features. The main reason for this feature is so GeoVision will automatically open and go to the monitoring when the computer first starts up. The other main feature is to create a limited user and have that user log in with no privileges to the system. You can have the system automatically go full screen or you can have it hide in the system tray and out of the way. So let's get started. In my first example, oh, I have the admin log in on full screen. So I'm going to click on the hammer and a screwdriver icon and locate general settings. Then I'll click on system configure. Now it may ask you to stop all monitoring. Go ahead and press OK and the system configure box will open. Now on the left hand side towards the bottom under general settings you'll see startup auto login. Make sure there's a check mark next to that and then press the little green arrow to the right. Now you'll get a box asking for the username and password. I'll type in the admin account in this demo. I'm going to place a check mark beside auto login in full screen. And then I'm just going to press OK. And then I will press OK again. And then I'll want to restart the multicam by startup settings by clicking the exit button in the bottom left hand corner of the main system and choosing restart multicam, then clicking on the restart multicam by startup settings. Press OK to restart the multicam. After doing this, I will not need to sign in. The multicam will automatically go to full screen monitoring mode. Now, in my second example, I'm going to have the system auto hide in the system tray. Or in other words, it's going to hide down by the clock and windows. So right click on the screen and choose toggle full screen or press the letter F for full screen. Then click on the hammer and the screwdriver icon and go to general settings. Then click on system configure. And again, press OK to stop all the monitoring if it asks. Now, in the System Configure window, under General Settings, click on the little green arrow to the right of Startup Auto Login. Now I'll place a check mark next to the Startup and Hide in System Tray, then go ahead and press OK. Now you should have noticed ID and password are grayed out, so OK, the Multicam systems does not give you the option to auto login when hiding in System Tray. Go ahead and press OK in System Configure and restart to Multicam Startup Multicam by Startup Settings by pressing the exit button in the bottom left hand corner of the main system and go to restart multicam and click on restart multicam by startup settings. Press OK to restart the multicam. Once the multicam system is loaded you will notice a new icon down by the clock. It will look like a little key. If you click on it it will ask you to log in. Nice feature if you want to use the computer for other reasons but still want to record the surveillance system. Okay let's go ahead and click on that icon. Then a login screen will appear. Click on the key icon in the bottom left and click login user, then go ahead and sign in and press OK. Now once the monitoring window is open and the cameras are on the screen, let's play with the limited user and its features. Go to the hammer and screwdriver icon, go to general settings, locate password setup and click on local account edit. Now you'll get a new window on the bottom left hand corner of this new window, click on new. A new account window will pop up. In this demo, we'll put in user as the ID and user as the password and also the hint. Then I'll change the level by clicking the drop down box and selecting user and then I'll go ahead and press OK. Now the important part of this example in the right hand panel, I will want to make a check mark next to full screen enter. However, no, I will leave full screen exit unchecked. I'll explain this in a minute. So after you get full screen enter checked, go ahead and press OK. Then, go, then click on the hammer and a screwdriver in the main system and go to general settings, then click on system configure, and then press OK to stop all monitoring if asked. Now make sure there's a check mark next to startup auto login and press the little green arrow to the right. In the new window, for ID you will put in user and for the password, user again. Then make a check mark next to auto login in full screen mode. Then press OK and then press OK again in the system configure window to carry out the main system. Then we'll again want to restart the multicam by startup settings. Pressing the exit button in the bottom left hand corner and going to restart multicam and clicking on restart multicam by startup settings. Go ahead and stop all the monitoring or restart multicam. Now the multicam will start up in a full screen under a limited user. Go ahead and try a right click and toggle full screen. All right, permission is denied. Now try to exit the system. Again, permission denied. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and log out and log into the admin account. Okay, now do you see why we checked enter full screen mode and why we left exit full screen mode unchecked? All right, so I'll let you choose what is needed for your system, and I really hope this tutorial helped resolve any issues, and please visit us at www.palmvid.com.